What's going on, guys? J Squared Three here, and welcome to what is what it, what is this even? Okay, welcome to the very first edition, I guess I can say, of a new series here on everybody's channel that's here. But you'll see it in a second. But we're gonna go ahead and call this uh, the Generations Roundtable, basically in which whenever Pokemon drops some news, whoever can get in a call, we're gonna go ahead and get in a call and just discuss what's going on. So uh, up first, we've got the Scottiest of all the Hitmons, Mr. Hitmon Scott. What's kicking, guys? Hitmon Scott here. You know who it is, and I'm so excited for the Generations Roundtable, bro. That is that just sounds amazing. <laughs> I'm, I'm loving the GRG. All right, let's go. With right. It. So yeah. Up next, we've got the dude with the deepest voice in all of YouTube, Mr. Joe Schmo. <laughs> <laughs> what's up? <laughs> <laughs> just what's up? That's all it is. Up next, guys, his hair matches his mascot's hair, Mr. Arsenal Weavile. Welcome to the next minute of Life, Arsene. We've all here, and I am very hyped to talk about uh, what we received from Pokemon Direct about Su Ultra Sun and Moon. Yeah, it's, it's going to be pretty lit. And finally, last but not least, we've got the man with the bloody PC, Mr. PC Blue. <laughs> What's up, guys? I am actually really stoked and excited to um, discuss all of this. It's going to be awesome. So, where do we even start with this? I'm gonna let's go. Okay, let's start I'll, from the I'll, beginning of the video. The yeah, very okay, let's okay. start from start to end. Okay, I just I just want to say this though. I just want to go ahead and point this out. I personally, this is me personally, <laughs> was expecting Generation Four remakes. I wanted yes. this. Yes, I'm, upset. I, I'm so upset. I upload. I made an entire video dedicated because I thought it was gonna be like, <laughs> oh, Gen Four. It's like, nope. I upload this video like. An hour, like ten minutes, twenty minutes after the the things dropped, and then I see it, and I'm like, oh, great. Yeah. I look like an yeah. idiot now. <laughs> we might get it. We might get it. I, and, as you know, Nintendo likes to trick people and not do the obvious. That's pretty true. In if you look at Gen Six, we received a mystery gift Torchic, hinting at Gen Three. However, you're right. You are right. Also received Munchlax mm. in this generation so far for a mystery gift, which hints at Gen right. Four. We could very well have three games in one generation. We might as well get it. Yeah. Logically, yeah. we'll definitely be getting Gen 4 remakes at some point, but I don't think it's going to be any time soon. I think they're still going to end up revisiting uh, Gen 6, even though it wasn't like one of the most popular generations. I do think they're going to revisit that before they go back to Gen yeah. 4, well, see, just because see, they have that 3DS aspect already yeah. going for it. Yeah. yeah. Me, and, me and Nick were talking about this last night, and uh, we, we were saying how, okay, it kind of skips... It kind of skips a console in a way. So, so like, we're sure what the mm -hmm. next handheld, quote unquote, handheld device is that Nintendo's going to come out with. So for now, let's just go ahead and say it's it's a 4DS, right? I'm thinking yeah. Diamond and Pearl remakes aren't coming until that next console comes out. So after Generation Eight is what I'm thinking. Oh, that's yeah, possible, I, actually. I don't know about that. Yeah, I, I can see where you're coming from, but I think they're still going to keep on with 3DS because they're more so focused on the Switch right now. I yeah. don't think they're going to come out with another handhold console for a little while. Um, right. I think we'll see Gen 4 on the 3DS, which would be amazing. Hopefully within the next couple of years we'll see Gen 4. But I'm a little bummed out that it was only a, re, uh, a continuation of Gen 7 and it wasn't something else. Yeah, so, I think, so I think it's something a about the... Something about uh, Gen 4, which I found really interesting and kind of peculiar, is that um, in the very beginning, uh, it wasn't Junichi Masuda, it was some uh, another creator. Um, in the very beginning, with his background, um, you can see every single game in the series mm. except for Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. I did yeah. notice that. I did notice I that. I noticed yeah. that, and... I didn't I'm, look, notice that I'm looking at it right now. You got guys, red, also, blue, yellow, green, all those, all the remakes. Yeah. Also, they've been, I, I think it's coming very soon. Did you see the storybook video that Nintendo released? It's all, it's almost all Gen 4s. I'm not, it might all be Gen 4s, but mm. all Gen 4 Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Um, As well, what was, I, what was I trying to say? Oh, well, yeah, what Joe just said. There's a lot of hints right now. Yeah, there's, you there's, there, you know, they, and this is something that with with especially I want to I want to say Nintendo, but with Game Freak, you never know what you're gonna get. You never oh know. Oh gosh, what you're yeah. Because no. everybody was sitting here thinking, okay, it's Pokemon Z is coming out, or like and Pokemon then, Z. Nope. Pokemon and Great, nope. Moon, neither. You know, yeah. It's it's just it's just you never know. You never know. So I never really try to get my hopes up uh, with Game Freak. You know what I mean? Because you never know what they're gonna do. But this isn't <laughs> exactly. the first time that they've made sequels immediately after. The release of a game because they they did the same thing when Black and White came out. 
Black and White 2 was the next game immediately to come out after that. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the flop that was Black and White 2. Exactly. (laughs) Except, uh, like, I think, I feel like the issue with Black and White 2 was, first off, like, Black, Black and White's story in general was kind of boring like to most people because of the fact that it felt like it was never going to end because it felt like the game went on forever it did it did yeah and then black and white 2 didn't really do anything different they were just like oh team plasma is back you have fun with that curum's a new thing you have fun with that and then it was like nothing they didn't really explain anything but i think that like sun and moon like ultra sun and ultra moon look like they could have a lot of potential the only issue is the fact that like sun and moon's story was actually really perfect to begin with so, like, if it's just going to be a continuation, who knows what's going to happen? Right. Also, That's true, yeah. if you, they're doing fusions again. If you look at yeah. Black yeah. and White Two, they they were yeah, fusing exactly. Kyrum and the uh, Arashorum and Zekrum. Now they're doing it with Necrozma. So, and there's yeah. no way that's fact... not like Necrozma fused with them. And can we, yeah, and can we talk about the is. fact that Colrus makes a guest appearance in Sun and Moon, yeah. and he was the one who successfully fused Kyrum? <laughs> yes. So, yes. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> if like, if if. If Chloris ends up doing that, then we know that was a hint that we were given during right. Sun and Moon, and just like, nobody thought about. Oh. And you also do get to see Grimsley, which is another Gen Five person. So they could have been hinting at like Gen Five is going to have some like something Gen Five related is going to happen in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Yeah, and then yeah, we're I always was, I, I always thought that was end. a guys. I also I, thought that was a, a loose end of Sun and Moon. Like you know, we saw Chloris. We got what we got a Z crystal from him. I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Guys, we, yeah, that was the last we saw of him. So it was, it was interesting. Yeah. Also, with N in the end of Black and White Two, all he does he's in hiding essentially. He's hiding from Team Plasma. He gives you his Zorark. There was really he was there was really no obvious. I guess I could say obvious end. It seems like it was continuous. They could very well bring him back if they're hinting this much at Gen Five. Yeah, that would be actually kind of cool having N in Ultra Sun and Moon. Yeah, also, um, speaking of hints for Gen 4, going back to that, in the P, what's it called, the laboratory under the Ether Foundation, it mm-hmm. talks about, there's articles talking about Dialga, or no, I'm sorry, no, it left out Dialga. It's Palkia, Giratina, and Bronzong, and they're all, uh, dimension-altering abilities. Yeah, so there's um, a lot so, of Gen 4. Uh, yeah. And, yeah, and also the fact that there's different dimensions in Sun and Moon as well. I think that could be a little tie together. The whole idea of, like, different dimensions and universes, too, like, just in, in general has been a thing since, like, what, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. They've been kind of, like, building up. So, like, either, the way I see it is either Sun and Moon, it, and then it's Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon a few years later, or Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are an alternate dimension of what could have happened in Sun and Moon, and it's just a different take on anything that could have happened. Mm-hmm. Okay, now something... Something moving on to predictions for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I saw this on Twitter where I don't know if you guys saw it. You know the the empty plots of land in a bunch of major cities. Yes, I know. I was yeah. thinking yes. that too. Yes, there are yeah. there are eight of those. So there's oh, been a what? lot of speculation what? that there would be gyms in their place yeah. for these. Ooh. Wait for yeah. Yeah. what now? I would love that. They got rid awesome. of the uh, trucks. You yeah, I, I really wasn't a fan. I don't know. I, I kinda, really wasn't a fan. I like the idea, but I feel like it kind of, like, could have been done better, especially because it makes it kind of harder to want to replay the games because going through all those trials can get, like, doing it just Aids. once is annoying. So, like, doing it again because you want to replay the game can, like, kind of be bad. Like, the trials were cool. I thought that was creative on Nintendo's part and, like, Pokemon's part and everything. But, like... They, it was just too tedious for it to be something like, I love this game so much, and it's totally worth it to play it again, because a lot of people were probably thinking, like, I want to play it again, but these trials suck. That's exactly yeah. what happened to me. I love. I didn't mind the trials first. I thought they were really, really cool. But getting towards the last few, I was like, okay, I just want to get to the Elite Four, see what's <laughs> happening. And then I restarted the game, because like we were talking about yesterday, uh, just playing with one of my friends, and then she decided not to keep playing anymore. And I was stuck there at, like, the third trial. And I'm like, I really don't want to go through all of this again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was, and also, it was brutal. Did you see the tra- – uh, was it a trailer in the – in the the in the in trailer? A trailer in the trailer. That ki- That's on one of the empty plots. Maybe you become a gym leader there. Maybe that's why they only yeah. showed that one area. That would be amazing. Awesome. It's like- didn't it actually show you go inside? What was that? I'm trying to remember. I'll, I'll look at it again to make sure, to verify. I can't remember exactly. 
I think the idea of like you becoming a gym leader is kind of cool because in Sun and Moon you build an elite four and everything, like a Pokemon League, and now like say it's a few years later and everyone's like, how about instead of trials we build our own like gym leaders and gyms and everything and you become a gym leader at the end or like something like that. Right. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be a neat way to end it. Yeah, I mean, I think. As regards to regular Sun and Moon, I think it was it was a pretty good game. I liked it. I don't think I liked it quite as much as other people. Um, same, same. But I, I feel like the one thing that they could have, you know, helped is you know character development outside of the evil teams, mm-hmm. like the mm-hmm. the trial captains and the gi- or not gym leaders and the elite four were pretty were pretty mad. Like you got to battle like a couple of them twice, which was. And like, I was kind of disappointed in that. There was that one Elite Four member, the the girl who was the flying tech, that kind of shows up out of nowhere, and it's like, what? <laughs> yeah, like, everyone, yeah else, she. everyone else did something. Everyone else was like like somebody you had met before, and then they're like, and that person's there, and it's like, who are you? Yeah, so maybe yeah, we'll I, I almost backstory. feel like they came out of, they ran at a time or something, and that I, I also think that might be why they're doing um, Ultra Moon and Ultra Sun. Is because mm-hmm. they almost ran out of time. They had a backup plan, so they just implemented that. And then, um, I, I, hopefully, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon will be better. I think they have a lot of you know great potential and an opportunity to become a lot better. But I also feel like they could be rushed because you're coming out with two very similar games within two years. Yeah. Yeah. Now Except here's the question w- on on the. Uh... No, sorry, go, go ahead. ahead. Okay, and uh, this is the thing is though that you can you know this is planned if they have empty plots in the beginning even in the even in the demo of Sun and Moon they were there was an empty plot they they were they were obviously planning something but the question is I'm sorry I know you were just gonna say you can I'll let you talk right after me hit Muscat with your question but I was wondering <laughs> who would be the gym leaders because I'm not. Fine. I'm not. Nothing's registering my head. Who would re- who would actually become the gym leaders? Is it just new characters? Maybe some old characters. Hal. I would say Hal for one. I think Hal. Hal is definitely like, be a gym leader. If they do gym leaders, Hal will either be like in this entire game. Hal will either be the champion, or if he if they make gym leaders, he'll be a gym leader. And if they don't do that, and it's a trial captains again, I definitely think he'll be a trial captain or Kahuna. Well, yeah, I mean, remember, guys, yeah. like, for Black 2, I 2, they implemented a bunch of new gym leaders that weren't in the original games. Yeah. That's so true. I but think, they also I think had that like, could definitely like, be done again. They had, like, Charon, who became a gym leader, which was, like, mm-hmm. your rival became a gym leader, so maybe they oh. yeah. that process with <laughs> I, I, can, I, can see, I can see them doing yes. that with Hal. Yes. And, like, and then you can also think, like, Bianca became uh, an assistant for the professor, so does that mean Lily's going to come back and continue being Q- uh, Kikui's assistant? Is she going to be, Maybe. like, a champion? Is she going to be, like, part of the Elite Four, the league, like, a gym leader? It's, it's like, if it's going to be taking place, like, years after Sun and Moon, then it only makes sense that she would come back to, like, come back to Alola at some point from wherever she went was, like, what, Kanto? Uh, that's true. Yeah. Guys, I just figured it out. I figured it out. So you know how, um, well, it doesn't exactly fit. But what if the what are they called? So there's the grand trials, and then the exactly. the s- smaller ones. Why wouldn't they just become germ leaders? Because um, because there's it? too many of them. Well, two of the. No, I think there's there, more than eight. Is there more than eight? There's, no, there's there is. Exa- how is there? No, because there's two for each each trial, and there's four trials, right? No, there's more than two for each, because there's a total of 18 stones. There's only yeah. two or three that you can find in the wild. Yeah, but you don't get you don't get every stone from a trial captain, though. Is, is no, like, like you get the you get the yeah, but um, from what from um, Team Skull's hideout. Yeah, get go. one in the big yeah, uh, there, the there's big, only... like canyon or whatever, Vast Pony Canyon. Yeah. Yeah, there's only a handful that aren't though, and it's well more than eight that you get from uh, from the trial captains. All right, never mind them. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> It's under, okay. okay, but but something okay, so, and this didn't happen, but but this is if if it would have happened, it would have been crazy. Is if instead of Lily going to Kanto, what if she went to Sinnoh? Yeah, but, crazy. Ooh, ooh. If she that comes back, watch her. Okay, I I, her I like I don't think this is gonna happen, but think about it. Like, what if in Ultra Sun and Moon she comes back and she says, "Oh, after I went to Kanto to be like help my mother, I became a trainer, and then I went to the other regions. I and like." I just got back from Sinnoh. So, like, 
I feel like um, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon's definitely, if they are going to do yeah. Gen 4 remakes, they're going to do a bunch of hints. They're gonna, they've been dropping hints for, like, a Sinnoh remake since, like, Omega oh, wow. Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Like, I'm pretty sure before yeah. Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, because I think there was, <laughs> in Gen 5, there was a certain building you could go in, and I, I don't know if it was this or, if it was for this or Gen 3, but there was a girl playing a flute, and she was like, you want to hear this song? And I think it was, like, Jubilife City's music so people were instantly like <laughs> gen 4 and then they dropped they were like x and y and now it's gen 3 have fun and that's there's the a lot thing, of is like so think of the pattern they've been doing remakes they did they remade gen 1 then they remade gen 2 and now they just remade gen 3 so it only makes yeah. sense that they would do gen 4 at some point right. also some supporting yeah. evidence to that um so if you I, I this is this has been confirmed every single key item from the fourth generation in Sinnoh is in the data for Sun and Moon. I saw and, that. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, it, we, this isn't even debate. I don't even think it's debatable at this point. It is so... That's what happened with... That's what happened with um, K- uh, Kalos as well, X and Y. They had every key item from Hoenn um, yeah. as well. They also they still have Floet. They still have AZ's Floet in the data for Sun and Moon. I, I'm, yeah. I'm guessing it's going to be an event at some point. Like they said, it all comes together in Sun and Moon. There were, I'm maybe yeah. There's something with Azoth that still hasn't completed itself. Team Galactic yeah. might bring the full power of Azoth out. Right, right, yeah, and and I don't know. There's just there's a lot because because looking at Sun and Moon, Sun and Moon's story honestly was pretty complete. You it know was what I mean? Perfect, like fully it was. Complete. It was a really good story. Yeah, and I just I don't know I don't know what their plans are for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon because Black and White was understandable because there was a lot missing. And, and and this is what I don't understand is that there's a lot missing in X and Y. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. There's a lot missing in X and Y. So that is was an incomplete game. Z. It didn't even have like a story Z. really. Exactly. I was expecting Pokemon Z before before anything like this, but I mean, you can't please everybody. I'm I personally I'm just hyped that we're getting a new game. That's all really all I True. care about. The end of the yeah. Day. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. You can never complain about a new game. Exactly. At the end of the day. No matter what it is. Even though everyone so, does. Yeah, true. <laughs> I am so no hyped. No Sino remakes yet. Yeah, we're, we're getting I'm, there. I am hyped about there. the Azoth thing about and more than anything else. When you when in Gen three, there was a story, but it didn't really connect well to other games. But when they remade it, they brought in the power of Azoth. Um, they, what else? What else did they do? Then they connect. They had all those books in their laboratory in Team Plasma, Team Aqua's um, area, and they said relating back to the Kalos region, they used the energy from the ancient weapon yeah um and i i can't wait for them to do this in sino there is just i i i just um i picture myself playing the game or playing in the scene where cyrus summons dialga and palkia oh, i just can't cool. wait there's gonna be Watching so that much 3D is gonna be awesome stuff. but um Especially, yeah all the story they're gonna add on to all the lore they're gonna hopefully add well the way the way Pokemon keeps pushing it back, it's gonna be 6D by the time uh, <laughs> by the time Sinnoh remakes come out. I think honestly, I I'm I'm happy. Yeah, I'm happy that they didn't release it because for me, Generation Four was by far my favorite generation, and I I really hope they don't <laughs> ruin it with a remake. I don't think so. I think ruin it. like I think the be- I think they can make it better, but. Like I, I I agree. Gen four was my favorite like generation of all time, and it was a great game. But I don't think they're gonna change anything to ruin it. Like I feel like the best they'll do is just like throw in mega evolutions, and then be like, oh these uh these gym leaders they have mega evolutions. Personally, you have I mega evolutions. I think they're done with megas. Is, is yeah, yeah uh, they could sad, be, but... which is yeah. I don't. I feel like I feel like they they made the mega evolutions and they were like kind of testing the waters. Like, are we gonna make this a thing for ev- uh, all Pokemon? And then like, I don't think it got as much of a positive feedback as they wanted because a lot of people weren't happy with them. Don't I love yeah. megas. Why? Megas Dude, were amazing. Primal or I'm sorry, not wait. Is it? What's primal it called? Reversion? Prim- primal reversion. Uh, uh, Tiaka, I'm waiting for. <laughs> they could, you know, they could just psych us out and make a game to, devoted to Arceus and not make two games. They could very well do that. Because they, they never even released 
uh, yeah, RCS in the regular games. So. Never got released, unfortunately. Yeah, why not? If it all com- why well, I mean, I'm just I'm so stuck up when that all comes together in that power of the Azoth. Why? I, why not? I think they There's just so many us. secrets. There's so many secrets behind Arceus with well, those a thousand arms, except they could be talking about armin- uh, armaments, talking about Arm- the unknown. But I don't know. Whatever. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. There's just. There's a lot of speculation going on right now, but the the, the, the good news is is that we do have a new game coming. And I, I, I think that's something to look forward to, definitely. Even if it's not the one that we wanted, or the one that a lot of people wanted, it's something, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's something to get hyped for, and it's something to, to look forward to. So yes. um, I'm really yeah. hyped. But any, any closing remarks out of you guys before we, before we wrap it up? Well, on to just one thing, because you mentioned the thing that we're all looking forward to. What about the thing you're looking forward to is the Gen 2 re-release? <laughs> oh. oh my god, uh, okay, yes. Okay. I, honestly, I, I, I'm being 100% honest with you. That was my favorite part of the entire trailer, hands down. <laughs> I was, knew it. Was was the Generation 2 uh, coming to the 3DS. I think that's awesome. Uh, it's going to make it a lot easier. Um, for you know, I mean, personally, I still have every single copy of my Generation 2. So yeah. it's going to be a lot easier for those guys who loved it but don't have the chance to play it anymore you know what i mean i think that's awesome yeah. that they get that chance to play it so absolutely if you're a gen 2 buff like me then you should enjoy that <laughs> <laughs> nice well no i got no closing remarks for me i mean uh, i'm excited we're getting a new game i think it's a little too soon like i said in my own discussion video you guys can check out my channel um i think it's a little too soon to get the uh next set of gen 7 but i'm, I'm excited i can't wait to see what they got lined up for the uh ultra sun and ultra moon uh yeah and i would like to address i know i know we talked about this um I've, we don't. I, I don't. I don't think it needs a. Well, we could also make a formal video, but just some quick information for you guys uh, about the GSL. We just delayed it for a week. It's not over. Uh, we were all having time management issues, just right. uh, with a lot of stuff going on in our lives. But it's not over. Don't worry. Um, I'm gonna be doing my battle with Nick. I guess this week. So yeah, just stay tuned. Yeah. Right. And and shameless plug, um, regarding the Gen Four remakes, I'm making a video about. <laughs> Uh, my top five things I want to see, so make sure you guys check that out. <laughs> or oh, are we shamelessly uh, plugging in? Well, I just so happen to have uh, made a top ten <laughs> Pokemon that if they do continue Mega Evolutions for the uh, Gen 4 remakes, uh, what what Pokemon I think deserve it, so check that out at some point. Well, I just so happen to start Pokemon Platinum, so check that out. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. All right, we got to call it quits there, guys, <laughs> before we show, show every video oh, we've ever made. Yeah. Right, so if, you guys, if you guys enjoyed this this uh, first edition of the Generations Roundtable, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button because we all appreciate it. Uh, links to everybody's channels will be in the description below, so make sure to go ahead and subscribe to everybody so you can see the content that they're making and all their shameless pugs, this and that, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> <laughs> but uh thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you all in the next video later peace keep guys, on kicking guys see you guys next time